Hello. Hear that? That's the amethyst my son Lucas gave me. There's that crystal egg that does glow if it gets enough sunlight. I'm going to take you out and show you a couple things. Just saying hello today. Hello today. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's bright out. It's 82 in the shade. Not right now, Puddin. Oh, look at you too. Hello. No, nothing right now. Not now. Don't step on the chicken. Behave yourself. Oh, don't. These are wild goldenrod. I'm really allergic to them. <laughs> okay, hello. Say hi, YouTube. Funny girls. Yeah, it's a little buggy out. It always is in the summer. That's the way it is. Tiger lilies are still blooming a little bit. How's everybody doing? Yeah, I wanted to say hi. I know everybody doesn't learn from scripture and that type of thing, but that doesn't mean they don't know Christ and it doesn't mean they don't have God in their heart, you know no matter where they are. I'm fully aware of that. And it isn't the people that go to church that I really want to talk to anyway. Actually, I don't at all. Dusty's got a nice fresh bale and a nice oak to stand under. Spot in there. You don't have to run. That's the West. South. Southeast. East. Walking out in the field, <laughs> it's a little hard, but that's north. Northeast. That's the direction at night I always see red in. Um, over the lake, Lake Superior, it's about 80 miles, and there's always red up in them skies. In fact, one time I saw, but I couldn't document it, I saw four or three clouds that looked like triangles. And um, uh, they looked like kites, but they were clouds. And they kind of stuck together, one on top of each other, at an angle, sort of, like that. Um, and they just traveled, which was really weird. I mean, they traveled together like that. But you don't see triangles up in the sky. That's not natural. I'm going to look straight up. Kind of straight. North and up. Northwest. And that looks kind of pink to me up in there. So that is southwest again, and I see, hello lady in the cloud. 
I feel like I'm watching myself. You guys ever get that feeling? That's south. The clouds coming out of the west, going south. East. That's up in the south. I'll look at it later when I get inside. I used to travel a lot. I used to really get a bad wanderlust. You know, it's just um, uh, maybe too. Um, I needed to rest a little bit, but well, I don't know. I've been a few places. I went to Texas and North Dakota and some other places. Oops, but for the last, oh, 30 years, I, well, actually, most of my life I've lived where I didn't have fluoride in my water, so that's one bonus for me there, because I know it's not good for you. Although we did have fluoride tablets when I was a kid, you know, ones that we put in water at school. But that didn't start until, oh, I'm going to say probably fourth grade, something like that. So, yeah. I don't know. The fact of the matter is, is um, the people that are in the church or think they're all good and good to go and all that stuff, those aren't the ones that I'd be talking to. It really isn't. It's not a matter of what the words say. It's a matter of how we feel in our hearts, what God tells us. Everybody knows that book. There's no book. It isn't just a happy-go-lucky positive world. Even these babies right now, that little bunny and that little bunny's mama, yes, they know it's a sick world. They know God has to fix it, and we got to start over. It's just like taking a nap. Huh, bunnies? Yeah, nap time. Yay! Waking up all fresh. Cute bunnies all fresh. Waking up. Yeah, you're cute. Have a nice day, bunnies. They're cute, good little animals. I used to have tons of them, but then there was a lot of feral cats around, and uh, that took a lot of them out. That was a bummer. Yeah, it's too bad, but now they're coming back. That's good. There you are. What are you up to? Not too much. Yeah, I love you. I love you anyway. Oh, it's getting breezy out here. Might make it hard to um, record. Let's go in. My plants are doing okay. Rubber tree, Madagascar. Nothing and nothing. Marigolds. Yes, she be on a shelf. Say Bathsheba. Yeah, that's solar powered. That got spun around. Yeah, solar powered butterfly and light. You're a good girl. Oh, anyway, yeah, um, I don't feel too bad about my teaching techniques. I know for a fact that um, if uh, reading the Bible and having the grace of God running around had brought believers in that area that were in the depths of hell most of their life, well, that's not the way they're going to learn, you know. Sometimes you got to step on a few toes to make a point, you know. 
which I'm good at doing. I guess that's my gift, you know. Oh. <laughs> it's true, too. There's a gift. Lady, are you gifted? Yeah, you stay there and lick. <laughs> so, anyway, I don't know what I'm going to name this video. Maybe Wanderlust. <laughs> and, um, talking to the deep. Because, <laughs> um, Seven Spalding had the deep, uh, um, talking to the deep. Well, it goes way deep. <laughs> so, anyway, also 007, I was watching some of his music, but it comes in splotchy because it was live. So, um, Zero H, wait, double spelt double, D O U B L E, zero H, zero H, like, uh oh, you know, seven, <laughs> number seven. And his dog, not Xena Warrior Princess, but, um, what was that now? Warrior Princess Xena. And his other one, Alfie, I thought he just had the one weight dog. And, um, then also he makes music at the Colonial live um a really nice place uh five days a week so and so i don't know i know he's got some jobs different ones but he does make some really good original music and um songs that we might not have heard so if you ever feel like a mellow time he's mostly mellow but the guy's got a range and not only that i just like him as a human being for what i know of him so far so um just thought I'd tell you that because I know like for instance um my son Jonathan was looking for a new genre of music and um uh that might be it I don't know not sure so yeah so anyway hope everybody is doing well and I just wanted to get on here and say I know I've made some probably pretty big enemies because I really have been misunderstood oh and maybe i'll just name this um the road to hell is paved with good intentions yeah and wanderlust for me um but anyway and that is true seeing so many people that maybe their intentions were good but they weren't quite listening hard enough you know that type of thing so when you get that feeling you know where i'm going with that so Anyway, peace and love, everybody. I might be back.